Uh, let's solve uh, one more problem on cantilever beam. Uh, let's take this time uh, point loads. Uh, determine the slope and deflection at the free end of a cantilever beam loaded as shown in the figure. Uh, as we discussed in the previous section, so let's uh, first draw the elastic curve for our better understanding. So there is no change in the elastic curve, it will remain the same. And now I want the deflection, slope and deflection at the point B, that's a free end. So it's drawn. Now I'll draw the tangent from here, from point B. This is what is theta B. And this is what is delta B. So B. Uh, okay. Then I suggest you to draw the bending moment diagram. Uh, we'll be using the second concept, uh, the second method to find the slope and deflection. So draw bending moment diagram. So how is the bending moment diagram now for the cantilever beam? So moment at B is zero. Now the moment at C is because of this five kilonewton load. So it is uh, because of the five kilonewton load. So it is five into one is a five it's linearly increasing and then uh, at the end a the total bending moment because of these two loads are 5 into 2.5 plus 10 into 1.5 so its overall work out to be 27.5 so let me draw a line here so this is what is linearly increases so the total here is 27.5 kilonewton so this is 5 kilonewton meter this is 27.5 kilonewton meter so this is what is the bending moment diagram okay now if you go with the concept uh, second method now slope at b is nothing but the area of amoria diagram between A and B. So slope at B is nothing but the area of M over EA diagram. So that means we are drawn the bending moment that is what is the M. So we need to draw M by EA diagram. So the reason for this present case we can use a bending moment diagram as a M over EA diagram since the values of EA is constant. If it is varying so it little bit confusing so what I insist you draw bending moment diagram separately then draw M by A diagram so let's draw M by A diagram so in this case is a very simple one so it's M moment at C is phi so this is phi divided by EI because EI is constant throughout and then uh, at the end A so the total answer is 27.5 by EI okay for our convenient for simplicity let divide the whole region into three parts so this is a one second and third so this part is A C and B. Okay, now let's find the slope. Slope at B. Slope at B. So as for the definition, so what is that one? Area of Amoria diagram, slope at B, always you need a two referential point. So it is theta B A. So you're measuring B A. So which is equal to area of M by E A diagram between B and A. Now we can split this one into two part. Theta B minus theta A. Theta A is 0 because A is fixed rent. So the answer is directly theta B. So therefore theta B is equal to 
So we need to get the area of MORI diagram between a to C. That means we need to consider all these three areas. So let's consider the first triangle part. So what is the triangle part? Half into base is 1.5 height. So what is the height here? So this part, this is 5 by EI. So then this is 22.5 by EI. Okay. So half into base. Base is 22.5 by EA half into base into height that's it area plus second region so it's a rectangle so it is 5 by EI into uh, length is 1.5 plus uh, next triangle region third region so once again it's the area half into base is 1 into height is 5 by EI so then what is the slope theta b you add everything so solve this part so you will get it 26.875 by ei now uh, the values of ei is given to us so we can substitute the values of ei here and uh, i'm repeating so be careful with the units now the units we don't have to worry our base unit is kilonewton and meter square we are solving the problem with kilonewton and meter so no need to change the values of EI it remains the same so we can directly use it so use it directly so how much will get 20 26.875 divided by 4000 so 6.71 so answer is 6.718 so 7 10 to the power minus 3 radians